ke keeps blacking out over and over. Is that some of her bon? No, she's not even using Bankai, is she? She's using Shikai. Bleach, number 10. I love what that what they're doing with the damn title cards. That's so damn cool. He said it wasn't you doing? Wait, you didn't do that? So she, I landed one. <laughs> he still landed one. <coughs> yeah, because he never relies. He's constantly restraining his his power because he never relies onto his sword in any type of way. He never goes ahead and says, "Okay, well, hey, sword, can you help me?" I remember he he begged the damn sword to tell him its name and he just wouldn't speak to him because he doesn't talk to it. Wow. So, so every single time she kills him, she's automatically bringing him back? He just assumes that he's blacking out. But he's not actually blacking out. He's actually getting killed. <laughs> oh. She used it. Her wound just healed up automatically. Yo, she's doing consecutive blaze lashes at him. Yo, he's gotten faster. Yo, he. Are you serious? So, so y'all killing each other because that's just what y'all do. Like, that's the Kimpachi way. Bro. 
So he knows the name now. Just heal yourself. It doesn't matter. He he still wants you to, to live. You were literally the person who, who inspired him to become stronger. Bro. Bro, is Udahana really dead? Yep. His sword. His sword is finally talking to him. What's the fucking name? You're not going to do that to us. Bro, that entire fucking fight, all I can just do is just sit there and stare. What the fuck? Bro, leave it to black people to go ahead and make the, the loudest noise ever. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Where the hell did we go? Are you serious? Like, they just, uh, apparently he's just a pimp or a rapper. Blade God. <laughs> what? Bro, what is this clown shoes? Yo, he really took a, took a picture of them. Y'all really listened to him. What the fuck? There's no floor. <coughs> What? What? Why did Why did it make him speak English? I don't make swords for losers. What? Yeah, I, I was right. So... 
like I said last time, when it comes down to Zanpakuto, Zanpakuto's are literally derived from their very being. So it's basically like I, what I said. Let me see if there's an after credit scene. 71 hours? Oh, he literally sent him back home. He's literally back at his dad's clinic. Wow. So he says that Ichigo still isn't, <coughs> and Asauchi didn't pick him. So that means that Ichigo himself still doesn't, isn't able to go ahead and establish a bond or any, with any, anything. He doesn't understand the importance of having the Zanpakuto or the uh, the significance of it. And it could be a situation because Ichigo still hasn't accepted that other part of himself. The fact that he has uh, Quincy, Quincy blood or whatever like that, or he has, has he's able to use Quincy abilities means that he has to be part Quincy so he does not he has no type of situation where he's actually accepting that part of himself like Rinji on the other hand has already accepted that he is a soul reaper his entire life's mission has become being a soul reaper but Ichigo is completely blinded all has been blinded for his entire life on an entire part of his of his existence so he has no no way of going ahead and uh, and coping with that. Like he has no way of like establishing a, a secure connection with his Zanpakuto because he doesn't even understand the significance of who he actually even is. That's crazy. But I mean, he he did go ahead and uh, say that you need to go back to your roots and learn exactly what it means to have a Zanpakuto and to um, the fact that it didn't choose you means that you still don't know exactly uh, what it means to to be one with a Zanpakuto or you need to go back to your roots. That's what's up. But damn, Unahana's dead. That fucking sucks, bro. That really sucks. And she just kept healing him over and over. She would kill him and then heal him back. Kill him, heal him back. Kill him and heal him back. To the point where he eventually learned the name of his Zanpakuto. So now he now has his Shikai. Or what well, he can now use his Shikai because now he knows his Zanpakuto's name. Damn. And that's just how the Kapachi are. They, if I'm not, that's what I said, if I'm not mistaken, I think when it comes down to Kapachis, they, they literally have to go ahead and either kill each other or beat each, beat the, 
each other in order to become Kenpachi. That's just exactly how it has to go. You have to beat someone in order to become the new Kenpachi. Like, it's, it, it's not a title that's just given out like the other uh, the other captains or anything like that. Or you just put captain because you're just so happen to be strong into your area or because you've been able to achieve Bankai. Because uh, other captains, because they've been able to achieve Bankai, then they end up automatically becoming uh, captain rank eventually. But when it comes to Kenpachi, you have to be the strongest. There's no other other back in it. And I think, as I said, I think Unahana was the only one who went ahead and walked away from being Kenpachi. And, that, and she only did it because of Zaraki. But, damn. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. And subscribe down below for more videos just like this one. Make sure you like me, love me, and talk to me down below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.